Hey y'all, thank you for watching. Um, I'm just doing a short video. Maybe I'm going to start a series called uh, Pimp My Trailer. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I have uh, several smart devices all over my house. A Google Home Display and a Google Home Mini. Uh, minis, I should say. They're all over the house. We have them in the kids' bedrooms and everything. Um, basically, and we have a bunch of bulbs everywhere too. Basically, we didn't want to have to keep buying bulbs just to replace every light throughout the house. So today, I'm going to be installing a Sonoff Wi-Fi smart switch. These things are about five bucks on Amazon. So super cheap. Uh, I've seen tons of great reviews on them. I've also watched a ton of installation videos and none of them explain quite what happens when you run into something like this. Um, so I've already kind of stripped and exposed these, but... This is a 14-2 wire. Well, it's 14-2, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm not an electrician, uh, so I'm just kind of winging this shit. Oh, sorry, excuse the language. Uh, but basically, um, every video I've watched already has these wires exposed, and it doesn't show anything about the 14-2, you know, uh, completely going into the box like this and what to do with the the uh the ground wires here because you don't need the ground wires for that wi-fi switch so basically um there's nothing that says anything about the 14 the two 14 twos here uh it's, i guess maybe a unique switch or something i don't know but basically the way these two wires were sitting in here is they were pretty much sitting on top of each other in the in the box there so here in the box the way this the way the output wire is layered in uh it's the same thing for the two 14 twos being the leads or being the input power uh, so the two white wires on both these 14 twos would be sitting inside here uh layered on top of each other and as you can see, you don't need to fully expose the wires with this type of switch. Um, but basically, the white ones are sitting in there, layered on top of each other. The two grounds were sitting in here, layered on top of each other. And then the two leads, uh, sorry, two neutrals, two leads were sitting in here, layered on top of each other. Uh, so, like I said, there wasn't really anything that would explain what to do when running into this many wires. Uh, what I'm figuring... I need to do um, is I need to put these two leads together along with this third piece of lead wire uh, I bought uh, I bought 14 gauge wire uh, solid not not threaded um, or whatever it's called uh, and it's like 25 cents a foot at Home Depot so nothing expensive but basically these two and this wire are going to be put together um and then this will feed into the smart switch on as you can see it'll be fed fed onto the lead side of the input and then i'll put two these two white wires, the two neutrals here. I'll put those together also with a piece of a 14 gauge uh, <clears throat> white wire that I bought. Also, same thing, 25 cents a foot. So, as you can see, I have it there. And basically, uh, these two grounds, I'm gonna put them together and just cap them, because you don't really need them uh, from, for the smart switch itself. There's nowhere to put them anyway. I don't have a metal box in there, as you can see. I don't know. That's just the way they decided to build the trailer. But because you don't need a box in the wall, because the the grounds go right here in the center area where it's not attaching anything. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So let me attach these wires. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so now I have taken, it's kind of hard to see and everything, I understand. 
So these are the two 14-2 wires on the wall here. Uh, if you can see both right there. I took the two leads from both those 14-2s and took a little wire cap and tied it in with a third piece of 14 uh, gauge wire uh, that's uh, uh, 14 gauge smooth not threaded um, by the way I I shouldn't have to say this because it's common sense but apparently common sense isn't that common um, I'm by no means in my an electrician I'm just a DIY guy uh, turn off your electricity before messing with this stuff you'd be surprised how stupid people are nowadays <clears throat> so basically here's the the uh, the two leads feeding off into a third lead or you know exposed right there this is the two neutrals from both the 14 twos capped it off leading off with a, a third piece of wire there and then i went ahead and took off the top part of the swatch the the, or the switch sorry the swatch the switch and uh exposed the wires a little more um and this is the output right here that's going to feed straight up through the wall to the lamp there um, and then I took the grounds from both the input 14 twos and the output and I tied them together uh, I'm gonna hook up the switch here uh, go turn back my power on and then we'll see if it works and obviously if this is the video I post then everything worked out fine uh, we'll see what happens give me one sec okay so let me show this off one more time before uh, I go outside and turn my power back on. I've got the output here. Neutral feeding into the neutral. Lead feeding into the lead. And then I also have the these wires that were all connected feeding in to the input. Got the neutral feeding into neutral, lead feeding into lead. Um, I'm going to go turn my power back on and hopefully nothing sparks and catches fire. So wish me luck. Okay. So now my power is back on. And I have this little green blinking light on my switch here. Now see, the switch just turned on the light. So I don't have the need for a physical switch. So that way, if nobody wants to use the Google Home display I have over there on my fiance's side of the bedroom, then they can just push this little button here. All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the wall. It's gonna fit, I'm gonna take off the old brackets. So I'll show you here. I'm gonna take off these old metal brackets right here, along with these screws. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna apply them into these holes here. And that'll be the brackets that holds it into the wall. The hole's just big enough to fit just this switch in there. And then I'll have a, a nifty little smart switch in my house. Um, I'm going to hook it up to my Google Home first. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. So give me one second.